Hello everybody, Kitty here. So today I wanted to show you some of my outdoor miniature items for when I do plan to make an outdoor miniature dollhouse scene. I wanna have a small front yard, small side yards, and in the back, just a, a little bit bigger, enough maybe to put a lot of flowers around the house. These are just some of the items that I have available and I've had a lot of them. I've been holding on to them for a long time. A lot of them have been given to me over the years. Some I've bought, especially you'll see a lot from Hobby Lobby. And before the pandemic, there were coupons we could use and you could at least get 40 or 50% off of one item. So I did that a lot a couple of years uh, prior to COVID when I started getting back into my dollhouse miniatures again. I hope you like some of my, my items and please give me some ideas if you see something that I have or don't have or something that you would add into your miniature dollhouse garden or yard, um, anything on the outdoor porch, things like that. Uh, everybody out there, we would love to hear all the great ideas that you have. And thank you for watching. Without further ado, let's get started looking at all my outdoor miniature dollhouse items. Here are the items that I think are pretty essential to having outdoor miniatures. I love the idea of having a fire pit in the backyard. I think it's simple but essential to have outdoor mat, one for the back, maybe one for the front as well. And here I have a, a hose reel and that can actually be attached to the outside of the house. And I think that's a really pretty cool item. It's three piece, it even has the nozzle in here to connect everything and make it look pretty pretty nice and real these mayberry street if you see that they're um they're from the hobby lobby in the u.s and then keeping along with the gardening here we've got some garden tools there's three pieces Got the trowel here, got the watering can here, and then the loppers. Let's see. I just wanted to see if they actually shut and open, and they do. That's pretty neat. I also have a rocking chair, which is great for any front or back porch. This is old, I've had this for a really long time. And this, I am so excited about. Just an outdoor water fountain. Actually, I guess you could have it inside too, but I see this going in the backyard somehow, somewhere, for my miniature dollhouse. I do love garden gnomes. This little guy, oh, I think he came from Hobby Lobby, but he is so cute. And the gnome that I have in real life in my yard is holding flowers, and his name is Cornblume like cornflowers. This is a blue little flower that he's holding. And he's so cute. And I also have these. My mom gave these to me. I don't know if she had a bonsai or found these. I have no idea. But they would they would probably be be good to repair and maybe if you have a Zen garden you can add add them. 
or just use them in your real life plants, you know, in the little pots. They're pretty cute. Here's another one. Looks like they've got a fan. So, again, some outdoor yard ornaments. This is one of my favorite items that I that I picked up for four dollars and fifty cents. It's a horse tie for the front of the yard. So I thought for my front yard, I will have a kind of a short, a small front yard. And at the end of the porch, I might have a little bit of sidewalk leading out to the horse tie. And where I live, there are still some original horse posts where you tie your horses up um, your carriage or your horse or, you know, whatever in front of your house. And I think this one is such a neat little item. And of course, for decorating for autumn, you have to have your hay bales. So these were given to me. I don't know where they came from. And these were, I got from Hobby Lobby. They're almost the same size. These are a little bit smaller from Hobby Lobby. And you can always decorate that with, here we go, with some pumpkins, also Hobby Lobby. So you can have the pumpkins with the hay bales. And I also have these leaves that I got uh, from my mini shop that is close by. I also want to use these leaves Besides maybe gluing some into a, a display, a hay bale display, I want to put these on the roof of my dollhouse and glue them down, a few of them that, you know, got stuck up on the roof. I think that will make it look so beautiful and, and definitely autumn. And for more fun items that I'm excited about, this owl. So for my dollhouse, I want to have a chimney. So I still have yet to buy the chimney or make it. Maybe maybe I'll be able to make a chimney. And so I was going to put this little guy maybe sitting on the edge of the chimney or on the edge of, of the roof. I think he's so cute and he's meant to be perched on something and he's going to make such a beautiful addition to my outdoor miniature dollhouse scene. And this little guy, I already have a chipmunk, but he lives inside. So I want to take this little chipmunk and he's going to live outside somewhere. And here we have bunnies. Because you, you have to have some bunnies. In my yard, we have bunnies, but we also have a hunting dog. Well, he's older now. This is a squirrel. My hunting dog is 13 and a half years old. German short-haired pointer. Goodness. And here's the little baby family. The daddy, the mummy, and the baby. Really cute. And you need a squirrel. So maybe I'll be able to make a tree and uh, the squirrel can can live in the tree. Bunnies, don't worry, they'll be safe from, from Jack, my pointer. I thought with the fountain, somehow I could incorporate the frog or put the frog on the, the back stoop or front stoop, but I don't know, so I think he needs to go somewhere near the fountain. He's really cute. He's really tiny. And for outdoors, it's nice to have some sports. So, oh wait, this isn't sports, but these are more kind of decorations and keep your tools outside for your sweeping and your mopping and shoveling. But this looks more like something for a coal or fireplace, you know, to scoop out ashes, but I, I'd repaint that black if I were gonna use that. It could be a shovel. 
whatever you want it to be. So these would always be nice outdoor, back door accessories, even front door. I've got a, I've got a broom on my front porch in real life. And here we've got baseball, baseball mitt, an actual baseball, and the actual bat. You could have those strewn in the yard. That would be a nice little addition. And you could have these sitting up on your front or back porch. Tennis rackets. And again, some of these I've had for a really long time. And these, I thought these could be painted, but they could be hung up on a front door or just somewhere in the house as decor. But I would definitely paint the hearts. You know, at least pink or something, something cool. Maybe add something else to it or you know, try to think of something neat. Let me know if you think of anything. And then some other things that I have that are nice additions to outside are, you know, Christmas decorations. And these are do not actually light up, but they would be good around a porch rail or even inside on, on a stairwell railing, or maybe, you know, even decorate your, your fireplace. And here, these are real lights that light up. They're chasing lights. And they came in this package. I just never did anything with uh, electricity and it would be really neat to be able to add some things like that. And finally, these two things are more craft items, but these are little pearl beaded strands and they could be wrapped around something. Maybe you make a trellis for the outside and wrap some things around. Here's some garland stars. You could actually make a little, you can make a little wreath with this do something or put it on your Christmas tree, your little miniature Christmas tree. So that's what I have for my outdoor ideas and things that I actually have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody is doing well and please don't forget to comment and let us know all of your good ideas and like and subscribe and have a good one.